have so far looked at the number functions and the character functions but we have other functions like the null handling functions and dead functions the null handling function that are used to handle null values and we also have the dead functions let's begin with the null handling functions with the null handling functions we have two of them we have the ndl and nvl2 for instance we have this commission percentage some employees do not earn a commission what we are going to do for any employee who doesn't earn a commission we are going to give him a commission we are going to do that using the ndl and when you see indeed some people don't get a commission but some get so for those who don't get a commission we are going to give them a dot two at their new commission rather than having nothing so to do that we are going to use what we call the ndl function the ndl it takes two arguments it takes what we need to work on which is the commission percentage so for anybody without a commission percentage a dot two is going to be given as the commission we can even give it a new column alias and we call it new commission so when you run you can see that people who didn't get a commission are now earning a commission so you can see that in the old commission they are earning nothing and now with the help of the NDL they are now getting a commission so that is the power of NDL it replaces the null values with a value that is how the NDL works we also have the NDL tool with the NDL tool it is used whenever we have some scenarios for instance we can say whoever employee who wasn't earning his commission should be given a dot two plus a ten and whoever was earning a commission should stay with their old commission to do that we use the ndl2 with this we can see that with the ndl2 whoever person doesn't earn a commission should be given a dot two plus ten dollars so this is the new commission for those guys who don't, who don't get a commission and whoever is earning a commission should stay with their current commission so when we run this we could see that guys who are not earning a commission they have a 10.2 a 10.2 as their new commission and for those who are earning a commission their old commission has been retained so that is how we use the NDL tool and NVL. With the NVL, it takes two arguments, and with the NVL tool, it takes three arguments. Those are the two most common functions used when we are dealing with the null values. Next, we can look at the date functions. With the date functions, they are used to deal with dates. For example, when we are tweeting, those tweets normally come with the time and date on which you made the post. To do that, we use the date functions, but we're going to look at just a few of them. For instance, let's begin with the sys date. What the sys date does, it returns the current date, but the date it uses, it is the date that is the laptop or desktop you are working from. For example, say that I'm recording this episode on the the 28th day of January 2022. That is when I'm recording this episode. And when you check, indeed, it is the date that is available that is on my machine. We can also check for the system timestamp. It will return the current database date and time says timestamp when we run you can see that my database it is having this as its date and current time when we use this when we are interested in knowing the time and date somebody use our database to make a post or to create a record in the database 
Next, we have the month between. Like you hear its name, month between, it is used to return the number of months that exist between the specified range. For instance, we may say that we need to know how many months are there between the time somebody was hired and the current time. To do that, we shall use the month between function to know how many months are there between the current date. Remember the current date is going by the sixth date. And then we may also need the higher date from a table called employees. So we with this query, it will return the number of months that exists between the current date and then the higher date. When you run this, you can see that these are the number of months these people have worked for from the time they are hired to the current date. So those are some of the date functions that are used, but there are so many of them. We cannot finish all of them. Finally, about the dates, you may have realized that some of the date functions don't have parameters. They work without parameters. Like this date, nothing is put in brackets and it works. The sys timestamp, it was also the same with the system timestamp. Some functions don't have to be with parameters to work, especially the date functions. So those are some of the functions in Oracle, but there are thousands of them. We have a link in the description which you can check if you are interested in knowing all the functions that exist in Oracle and what they do. In summary, a function is a program called upon whenever we need it. And we use functions to perform different tasks with our data. We have single row functions that work on only a single row of data. They are grouped into character functions like the upper, lower, init cap, like we have looked at many of them. Then the number functions that work with numbers like the absolute, the floor, seal, and round. Then we have the null handling functions like the NVL, NVL2, and finally the date functions. We had, these are not the only functions that exist in Oracle, but these are some of the common ones used. In the next episode, we're going to look at good functions. Let's meet there.